वन यू साइन अप टू दी डाटा ब्रिक्स अकेडमी एंड एनरोल फॉर दिस कोर्स विच इज नथिंग बट दिस वन डाटा ब्रिक्स सर्टिफाइड एसोसिएट डेवलपर फॉर एपाचिस पार्क विच एक्चुअली प्रोवाइड्स द डिटेल्स विद रेस्पेक्ट टू दी एग्जाम यू शुड बी एबल टू गो टू द डिटेल्स टू अंडरस्टैंड मोर अबाउट वाट इज एक्सपेक्टेड विद रेस्पेक्ट टू टेकिंग दिस एग्जाम द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सेक्शन इन दिस इज नथिंग बट प्री क्विडिट्स दीज आर द प्री क्विडिट्स टू गिव दी एग्जाम यू नीड टू बी फेमिलियर अबाउट ऑल दिस थिंग्स सो दैट यू कैन गिव दी एग्जाम विथ कॉन्फिडेंस the items are nothing but have a basic understanding of spark architecture including adaptive query execution adaptive query execution is relatively new but very powerful there might be few questions around it so make sure you prepare around this before giving the exam on top of spark architecture and also you should be familiar about all the apis related to spark when i say apis i'm talking about spark data frame api using python or scala as programming language these are the areas which you should be focusing on you should know how to select rename or manipulate columns in a data frame you should also know how to filter drop sort and also perform aggregation on rows in the data frame you should also know how to join uh, read write and also parse in the data frames and also you should understand how to work with udfs and spark sql functions if you are pretty good at spark sql then it is not good enough to actually give the exam you should be familiar about data frame apis not spark sql to give this exam also you can see that uh, they are saying even though it is not explicitly tested the candidate must have a working knowledge of either python or scala the exam is available in both languages you can actually sign up for the exam using the programming language of your choice and then you can actually give the exam you will not be tested on python or scala you will be tested using data frame apis but there might be some code snippets around the apis using this underlying programming language that being said when it comes to the content with respect to this course covering all these items once you set up the material as part of your databricks platform first you will see details with respect to these items then towards the end you will see the details with respect to spark architecture and adaptive query execution just keep that in mind all these items are actually in order only this one is placed towards the end now make sure you go to the course with diligence and be comfortable with all the material practice enough so that you gain enough confidence to give this tough exam this is one of the toughest exams with respect to spark you have to be really comfortable with a lot of stuff so that you can clear the exam without uh, failing that being said also once you go to the content you should also understand how you can actually access the material provided to you i'll be covering those details towards the end of the course before taking the exam you make sure you go through those details and be prepared so that you can actually take the exam with a lot more comfort level otherwise you will struggle a little bit while taking the exam that being said these are the prerequisites with respect to the exam the content is created based upon these prerequisites make sure you go through the content and be prepared to take the exam